Before I even began the abstract thought sequence, I thought, you know what, sky's the limit. I'm not even going to touch the computer, kind of just explore and see where we can break it, how far to take it, and where to pull back from. It was sort of like what any artist wants to do. There's something just raw about picking materials. My office, which is normally pretty messy, became messy times a thousand. I had like solvents and paint thinners. People were walking by like, what the heck is going on in there? It smelled like solvent. This is Chris Asaki. He's the designer of Big Bomb. <laughs> and right now I'm working on this abstract piece for him. I just wonder what you think. Too skinny? Too skinny. That's skinny. what I thought. Yeah. All right. I painted on paper and I started doing cutouts. And then I even went into paper sculpting. Just because she's being abstracted, I thought I'd keep one lens circular and make one square. Or there was something when you saw it in 3D, it was like, oh, whoa, like, things could even move around. The eyes don't have to be you know, where eyes normally are. Hopefully with abstract thought, you could see exactly still who the character was and what it feels like. When the scene rolls and people think, that was a little bit weird, inside I'm going to be like, yes, mission accomplished. Did you know that Pumba in The Lion King was the first character to fart in a Disney movie? For this and more movie facts, click on more videos.